Now, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas is just around the corner. Now, we all have a bit of turkey and stuffing at the Christmas time. Yeah. But you're going to be looking like a dessert. Oh. With our sponsorship today. Tell them about us. Uh, you know what? Dessert's nice, but I feel like gravy. Mm. To be honest, I feel like a bit of gravy. Yeah, and you're looking like gravy. different gravy. Different gravy. Trust me, trust me, with, with Manscaped. Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. Yeah, 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 yeah. Package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just, it's not just a trimmer, ladies it's and gentlemen. Package, it's not man. just a trimmer, okay? This, as we've mentioned before, is a trimmer that, you know, sorts out your, your downstairs area. You can okay? sort out your upstairs as it well. It can sort out your upstairs area. Just give it a wipe first, probably. I, yeah, I would probably say. I'd recommend that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we've got the, uh, the Lawnmower 4.0. Which uh, is just your, your, it's not your standard trimmer though, is it? Because it's got a light on. LED, and baby. And it's waterproof, mate. So if LED. you fancy having a shave in the shower, you're sorted. It's like the LEDs on the bottom of the uh, F1 cars when they run around oh, Las Vegas. That would it? be quality, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decent. They're just loads of normal 4.0s on the bottom of that Mercedes. Mm -hmm. That's actually what they did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, that's definitely true. Yeah. Um, the crop pres preservable deodorant as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You smelling got fresh. Yeah, we're smelling fresh stuff to treat everything down there as well. And obviously, you know, it's a bit of a sensitive, yeah. sensitive area, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? yeah. So if you don't want to get cuts and nicks no, down there, no. and you won't, you know, you won't with the, won't. Uh, the lawnmower 4.0. So head to manscaped.com. Code last lap for guess how much? Guess what percentage? Go on, go on. Surely, that's, surely it's something like ten percent. That's a big. That's a big whack more, already, right? More, more, more. Fifteen percent. More. Oh, you're treating us here. Oh, right? He's a happy man. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Twenty percent off. Oh my goodness, manscape. Manscape.com. Sensational, sensational stuff. Code the lawnmower four point oh to get stuff to treat your balls after you've shaved, and also. You know, you've got the, the little ear one, the nose yep. one as well. Ear so nose. The little hairs in there as well. You're sorted. Wherever there's a body. hair, Manscaped can sort you out. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly, exactly. Do it. Manscaped.com. Check it out down in the description below. Last lap. Boom. All right, you lot. Don't forget to give us a follow on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And while you're at it, give us a five-star rating. Trust me, it really does help us out. Briefly talk on Ricardo. Oh, briefly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, Notice how it's briefly. <laughs> briefly talk. Oh, let's just gloss over that other one. Yeah, briefly yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Ricardo. we've talked about well, no, because I don't, <laughs> on many I don't think it will be the end. No, no I don't think I don't so. Think so. I, think he will, I think he will be back. Yeah. Um, but obviously, he has made it quite clear he doesn't want... He wants some time off. Mm. Yes. Which I think there's been a lot of criticism of that decision because obviously keeping in, like going with a smaller team. What would you... As, especially as, as a Ricardo... Um, Super fan, lifer. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of his decision? Do you think it's the right one? Yeah, absolutely. If I, if I was to sit here and be like, oh no, it's 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 not him. It's the car and everything like that. I'd just be splurging lies. And it, you need to take it like accountability of like, yeah, he just hasn't been able to adapt to the car. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain reasons for that, and which would bore everyone if I was to try and like sort of blag it all the way through. But like, you do just need a mental reset, and it's where like. Actually, I think a fact you mentioned even earlier today it was that he hasn't ever missed an F1 race um, like there was even there was glimpses of it where you know even the Bahrain testing he missed the first test session because he had COVID yep. but that was probably the closest thing he's ever had to that to missing something like that yeah. and it's, he's lived and breathed you know F1 the, his entire since he's been a kid basically mm -hmm. and I think he just needs that one year where he uh, yeah so very much it hasn't been confirmed but <coughs> thanks to um, <coughs> Helmet Marco for, with, the, with the exclusive um, yeah. that um, yeah he's going to become their reserve slash test driver mm -hmm. so basically you know doing like still coming to some races like I don't know like three or four of them um, and then doing a lot of the you know uh, pub, um, publicity stunts you know taking the old demo car doing like donuts around like Vegas or going up a mountain or what have you <laughs> for the marketing purposes yeah and I think it's not a mental reset of you know, like you know going back to his farm uh, back in Australia going to out with like no phones it's nothing like that and just taking the year out like that i think it's more that he will be so close and not used to not being out of it that will give him the itch and give him the motivation to be like right now i'm going to come back in again and be more regiment because i think for him personally i think having renault was the intermediate of like okay i can kind of do what i want but i can still like have a bit of like i'm still regiment in my thing moving to mclaren i think he was given full freedom of like marketing and like how he helmet how he does his helmet designs and i think he just needs a bit more of that all right no come back to the office on the monday at 9 a.m this is how you're going to work now you've got nothing but to also say it was it. going well at renault <clears throat> yeah it was going great yeah, at renault. Yeah, yeah. yeah and i think that's and that where, would have always helped yeah totally and i think it's where like it'd be good for him to have this year out be 
like regimen again or you like you know having like being told exactly what he needs to do we're not having you on this race so off you go and i think that that need and want to be back in the sport would be, yeah. be great I, I just think he's like been in the sport for for so long now and he's had such good times and he's had some like tough moments i think <clears throat> back to monaco when yeah the podium that should have been yeah, uh, yeah the yeah. win sorry that should have been yeah um Redemption and, and though, yeah. now it's been such a it must have been such a like draining like time at mclaren yeah i just think he's burnt out yeah, yeah. honestly yeah. I, I think it's literally it, yeah. it's work burnout <clears throat> and i just think it, clearly he thinks some taking well, some time off the is the right thing since what 2011 i want to yeah. say with hrt and then mm. 2012 was his first like full season yeah, yeah. i want to say into yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 with alpha tower not alpha tower toro also at the time so yeah it could well be it could well be i think you know these drivers need a break sometimes yeah the elite elite ones don't but but i think, I think as well like, the last two years ev so. everyone's different everyone's mm -hmm. like this is what i mean like whatever decision he ultimately makes is clearly the right one for him like he's, yeah, he's yeah, old yeah, enough he's, is, yeah. he, i think he, he understands easy. himself enough i think to know when that this is the right choice yeah and i think it's easy for like you know many fans and spectators to say oh it's better for you to remain in the yeah. sport than not. But I think he's smarter than that. Which it might, it might literally yeah. be like from a, but that's taking the human out of it. Yeah. And I think it's, I, I think Sebastian Vettel actually touched on this really great in the Beyond uh, podcast he did where he was like, yes, in hindsight, I could have absolutely left at the, I retired at the end of Ferrari, but I didn't want to because I wanted to keep racing. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think it's, um, and that's basically where you see so many of these great uh, drivers, there is that peak and they never, quit while they're ahead and the only person who's done that is nico rosberg yeah which yeah, shocked yeah. all of us <laughs> yeah that's crazy when that actually, yeah that's that's him that's him doing what what like, he wanted, what to, what he wanted to do yeah because yeah, yeah. he he's like all right i've done the championship now what's the point so like if you look at michael schumacher yes he was super dominant when smith didn't dropped off then oh, okay he didn't perform as well and then he left and then you got lewis hamilton who this is his first season where he's never gotten pole or got a win and he got beaten by his teammate in the standings regardless of what happened in junior season but basically that's kind of what plateaued there and we've Vettel, the same with this here. I think Ricardo, he doesn't want to fall that step of like, all right, I've gone for this team. Now I've gone to Renault. Now I've gone to McLaren. Now I've gone to Haas. And now I've gone to Williams. It's like, you've just seen the progression. Yeah, it's down just down like, ladder, it's like absolutely. It? Yeah. So of course, when he's like, no, I want to be in a team where I can actually win races again. So that's why I think, yeah, the game plan is, yeah, to be reserved for the year. And then he has the ties, has the, has the ties with um, AlphaTauri before they get bought over by whomever it might be. Or if the relationship doesn't work out with Perez, then he could be an intermediate for like a year at Red Bull. I highly, highly doubt that will actually happen. But can you imagine if that did? Yeah, I mean, again, <laughs> he won the championship. I, I think that Alfa Romeo Salvo team is much more appealing now that we know Audi, Audi are going to take it over. over. There's a lot of people that are looking out for that seat now. Of course, yeah, yeah, Bottas is very much really excited by it. So. Yeah. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. see next year, Joe and uh, Joe and Bottas. If I mean, I yeah. think Joe's been closer to, to Valtteri than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally, um, totally.